What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today I'm bringing you something very exciting and something I think most of you guys have probably really been looking forward to it is the brand new ADC, the brand new champion just released to the live servers. It's very exciting, it is of course Samira. So this champion is absolutely amazing. She's so much fun. I've been playing her a ton to kind of get a feel of her. Uh, so what we're going to do today is actually I'm going to show you guys and tell you guys, first of all, kind of who this champion is for and kind of what you can expect from her. Then we're going to go into the abilities. We're going to talk about every single ability, how they work, how they work together, why they work as they do. Uh, so you guys know exactly what like that you guys know exactly everything in order to master the champion then we'll go into the combos and then lastly we'll talk about how to actually play her early mid and late game um so it's gonna be pretty exciting i've been very very hyped for this champion and uh and honestly she's really yeah it, it's a good one she's a little bit broken she's a little bit broken at the moment she's really fun anyway uh let's uh let's just kind of get things started by the way for those of you who are not already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and do that underneath. And uh, yeah, I am going to start streaming every Friday, every single week. So if you guys want to see me live, then go ahead, go to Twitch and just follow me there. And uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the stream. Anyway, let's get, get this started. So first of all, let's talk about who this champion is for. So this champion is kind of, she has very much of this um, ribbon adc feel i know that's a weird thing to say um but the way with her combos and stuff and we'll talk about how that works right now don't think more about it than just the word combo i'll explain exactly how combos work but she has this kind of feel to her where you feel very free like you feel like you can combine things in whatever order makes sense to you and your situation which is kind of kind of the same feel that riven has um and that's why I would say this, in a sense, is like she feels very much like a bot lane version, an ADC version of a Riven. Like, that's kind of what she feels like. All right, we are going to be able to just first blood that one. Ah, oh, that's so close. That is so freaking close. That heal just came in there right last second. All right, seal up. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to say with this one is that this is a champion that if I had a friend just started out in League of Legends, never played the game before, then this is probably not the champion that I would recommend him to play just because of the nature of the champ. Um, it is it is a little more uh, free and if you kind of know the basis of the game and you, that you are a, already like an established player, then I think this champion is amazing for you. As a complete and utter beginner of the game, then you might struggle. I'm not saying don't do it. I won't discourage you. Uh, just saying that there is a learning curve. Anyway, let's kind of jump into it. And hopefully by the end of it, you will see either how to counter her or why you should play her. Um, and basically just how she works a role. So let's talk about her very first ability being her passive called Daredevil's Impulse. And Daredevil's Impulse is quite a big one so uh so grab a popcorn get ready uh this one is uh is a, is a tough one to swallow um all right so first of all uh daredevil's impulse is basically the thing that allows you to uh have these combos it's what it's basically the combos that that is written in this one and i know most of you guys are like the second you're here the word that somebody's gonna explain a passive you're like it's killing me already. It's so boring. But honestly, it is so, so important with Samira. Because the passive actually determines how you play this champion and how you should be playing her. Because uh, it, it really determines everything, to be honest. Um, so the combos with Samira basically works the way that you can see. Whenever you get a combo, then you get a letter. The letters go from, from E and all the way up to S. So they go... E, D, C, B, A, and S. Basically like the grades you can get uh, whenever you are playing uh, or whenever you're out in champion select the scoreboard, you'll see you got an A plus or you got whatever, you got an S. Um, that's basically uh, the same order and the same six, six grades, all right? Very simple. 
the way you get a grade or a combo as they pronounce them here is by using a unique attack on an enemy uh it can be different enemy or different enemy champions but as long as you use it a unique attack or ability on that champion this basically just means let me let me try and rephrase it in a in a simple way this just means that you're going to get a combo if you auto attack a champion but if you auto attack him twice you're not going to get a combo point the second time but if you use an auto attack and then use an ability then you're going to get a combo point for the auto attack you're going to get for the ability and then you can actually do an auto attack to get combo again because it's then going to be a different ability or a, a different attack from the previous one i know this sounds kind of tricky but the thing is that the the in order to get a combo point you just have to do something on an enemy champion that is different than what you just did on your last attack uh so if if the last thing you did was do an auto attack then you need to use an ability if the last thing you did was do an auto attack uh whoop what's this going up i actually need to help here uh so if the last thing you did was uh oh i can help here all right there we go i won't be able to catch this guy um so if the last thing you did was an auto attack then you need to use an ability and you cannot use the same ability twice either so you cannot do a q the first time you do the q then you're gonna get a combo point the second time you're not it's it's kind of that simple but if you do an auto attack in between your two q's then you'll get combo points for both of them it all sounds very complicated but it really really isn't it's just get combo points if you do something different than you did on your last attack um and you can do it you don't lose your combo points by attacking um by attacking different champions so yeah i hope that kind of makes makes sense um the thing is that these combo points only stay on you for a very short duration they stay on you for six seconds meaning that you are gonna lose them fairly quickly uh so the way you keep them up is basically by if you use the same attack again then it's just gonna refresh your current duration uh but not give you a combo point oh should be able to uh oh that was a close one uh then it's just gonna refresh it so basically you do want to use oh this is gonna be so free there we go all right um so basically that's kind of the the first part of it so the combos let me try really quickly to rephrase it you get combo points by using attacks that are different than last attack you did on it on on any champion um you cannot you won't get combo points e or more combo points by if you auto attack one champion and then auto attack another champion it has to be different from the last attack regardless of which champion you're hitting all right so that's basically the first part of your passive i know that sounded a little complicated i wanted to make sure that i got it across um all right so the next part of your passive is basically as you guys might have noticed, Simira is running around with both a sword and actually let's start with something else. At the combo points, because most of you guys will probably be by, by now like, why do I want combo points? That's a very good question. The reason why you want combo points is first of all, in order to use your ult, you need all you need the highest grade, you need the S, you need this the, the highest uh combo you can get. This means that you basically have to do six different things uh in order to obtain this is this it's that's fairly simple right the other part of it is that for every combo point you have active then you get some movement speed for uh as long for as long as you have those those combo points active uh that's basically all that part says it's fairly simple um, so of course you always want to try and get that movement speed because it's going to allow you to chase people down It's going to allow you to kite better. It's going to allow you to flee away from enemies uh, So it's just overall a really cool thing. So combo points are good um, And the cool thing with Samira also is that her ult as we talked about she needs the highest grade She needs the S grade in order to use her ult But what's even cooler is that her ult has no cooldown It just requires you to have the highest combo requires you to have an s and you can get this several times in one team fight which is absolutely amazing 
Um, so do think about this. Like, this is... This is one of the reasons why she's so good. There are so many examples of using her ult several times throughout a fight. All right, I see Bart. I see him. I see him. I'm going to be able to just beat this guy up. Oh, that was a good one. Woo. Just kill this guy. Can we? You just hear we are so close to getting... We got our S... And that's going to be another one. Woo. A good job. Well played. All right. We're super fit now. All right. So as we were saying, um, that's why you want your combo points. You can use, as you just saw here, we actually used our ult twice, even though we want to interrupt the, the first time. So that showcases that pretty nicely. Let's talk about the other part of your passive. And this is that, of course, Samira is running around with both a pistol and a sword. Whenever Samira is at range, she will use her pistol. And whenever she is close to the target, she'll use the sword. It's very simple. Um, the reason why you want to care is that her sword actually deals more damage than her pistol. So ideally, if you're facing something like uh, a target that doesn't have skill shots or a target that does not do more damage when we're up close, then you want to get close to the target in order to deal the optimal amount of damage. Um, and this also comes to show in our... Whoop, in our uh, in our queue, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so there is one more part about your passive, and this is the next one. This is awesome, and this is basically that uh, that Samira has this thing where whenever a target is hit by an immobilizing effect, then Samira can attack that target, and if she attacks a target that is immobilized, then she actually knocks them up into the air for 0.5 seconds, which is absolutely insane. So she works really well together with other uh, champions that has CC, and you want to make sure to chain this. Not only does it allow you to knock people up, but it actually allows Samira to dash to that or into that target's attack range. So you get in range to actually auto attack if uh, if you use it on them. You'll see it. I'll try and see if I can showcase it in just a moment. But basically, it'll show these uh, these stripled lines saying that you can click on the target and she will dash there in order to knock them up. And she'll do this uh, this quick firing thing with her pistols that look freaking awesome. All right. Um, that's very cool. And she can do this at an 850 range unit range, which for most people, most of you guys are probably going to be... But how far is that? That makes no sense. Well, it's basically more or less the same range as you see the, the, the long line here of your Q or the radius of your ult. It's more or less the same range you can hit or you can reach the target with, all right? So that's basically that one. Uh, I'll see if I can showcase and I'll, I'll highlight whenever I manage to do it here. All right, uh, let's go up here, see if we can help this guy. I think we can, I think we can do this pretty easily, to be honest. I'm not going to use my flash. Okay, maybe I should have. I actually should have flashed here. I am such... Woo! My turn. And we have movement speed because we're passive here. And you just see just how quickly we get through them. Yeah, we are super strong by now. Alright. Let's back off and let's talk about uh, our, our Q. So, basically... Uh, or Q is this very cool thing that basically it, all I promise you guys the rest of the ability abilities are a lot simpler So if you guys are kind of intimidated by now, then you can like look down at your empty popcorn can now and be like The, the worst is over. All right So now or Q is basically this thing called a flare and flare just allows you to shoot out with your pistol It deals damage to whatever it hits, which is very cool. It's a skill shot if you're up close to the target, then instead Samira will basically slash with her sword in this cone and she'll deal, deal damage to anything close by. Um, so if something is close to it, then I'll show you just right here. Then you can see she does the slash and she deals damage to, to all targets. So again, this makes it ideal if you're facing champions that don't deal damage or deal, don't deal more damage at melee range than they do at range it. Then getting up close means that you can hit more than one target with your flare equals more damage overall. 
and uh, that's basically also that you you'll ensure that you won't miss your shot on your Q, ensuring that damage that no minion is gonna absorb it or something else like that. All right, that is all our Q does. It also gives a combo point because it is of course an ability, so it gives a combo point if the last thing you did was not was not a uh, an out attack. All right. Our next ability is our W, and our W is called Blade World. Oh, wow, I could have clicked this. If I hadn't looked away for a second there, then I could have used this stun there. All right. Our next ability is called Blade World, and this one is what kind of reminds me a little bit about Yasu. Uh, it allows Samira to basically do this wind wall all around her. It absorbs anything uh, around her for one second. Anything that is a missile, this means uh, a vein, a uh, condemn... A Jinx rocket, uh, a severe uh, boomerang, anything that is a projectile, even an attack, uh, an out attack, uh, and all of Israel spells for that matter. All right, so this one does this for one second where she does this around herself, and she then slashes twice with her weapon, dealing a good chunk of damage, uh, and that's basically all it does. It's very, very simple. All right, our, our next spell is our E. It's called Wild Rush. And Wild Rush is also insanely cool. Uh, Wild Rush, Rush is kind of your mobility. It feels a little bit like, I guess, you could, in a sense, say, Vayne's uh, Tumble. Uh, but this one allows you to dash through an ally or through an enemy. So basically, this means that I can do it on my ally here. I dash through them. Or if I do it on an enemy, then I deal damage to them. And I also deal damage to anyone uh, anyone that I actually hit on the way. So if I dash to, to let's say, Leona and, uh, and two other champions are standing in front of her, then I'll deal damage to all of those, which is honestly super cool. I actually need to go mid lane because otherwise we might lose the game. Um, so you do want to, like, damage-wise, use this one optimally. Okay, this is bad. This might not be as bad as I thought, actually. Want to make sure we keep our combos up. I might still die, though. Nope. All right. We are going to use this one and it should be enough. There we go. Nice. All right. We need to back, though, because our team is actually losing. This is like literally, literally sitting in yeah. in the in bot lane all game. Yeah. As I've said before, these games are not meant to show you guys perfect gameplay. They are just kind of meant to uh, give you guys an overall idea of how to uh, to play the champion. All right. So next up uh with or e so basically it's this dash you can dash through enemies and allies uh the next thing with it is that it actually also as you enter your dash it is gonna deal or it is gonna increase your attack speed up by 30 to 50 percent for three seconds so of course you want to use this in order to maximize your damage especially if you're going for an all-in you also want to use it for repositioning so it is kind of a tricky spell one thing that you do need really to note about this one is that the ability does um, the ability does reset every time there is a takedown. Doesn't mean that you have to uh, kill the target with that ability. Just if there's a takedown, you instantly reset this ability, uh, and this is insanely strong. So, so really do play around this. Make sure that you use your E before a target dies such that you are able to uh to maximize your damage oh this is bad oh rip ah oh, this guy's also super fat all right let's, let's just get this all right so that's basically that part it it gives you uh, basically it allows you to dash to an ally or through an ally th or an enemy it gives you attack speed and it resets if you kill it or if it, if you get a takedown. All right. So that's our E. Our last ability is, of course, our ult. This is the one most of you guys probably seen in videos, etc. This is the one that looks like Katarina, feels like Katarina, feels damaged like Katarina. Um, this is, of course, our Inferno Trigger. Inferno Trigger is only available whenever you have the highest combo point, meaning that you have the S grade. So... 
basically whenever you have the s grade then this is going to be available it is going to eat up your all of your combo points meaning that you are not going to be able or you are going to lose all of them but you're going to start being able to uh basically get them back um so you're going to start start getting new ones all right um i'm dead i'm hard percent dead We are losing this pretty bad. This guy is super fed. Honestly, if this was a focus game for me, I could probably carry this, but just see if we can kind of hold them back. I'm going to die now. I'm 100% dead. <laughs> Rip. All right. Um. Anyway, our old, all this thing does is that basically... Uh, Samira starts turning around herself for two seconds, dealing a good chunk of damage to anything around her. Um, and that's basically it. She hits them 10 times and she does a hell of a lot of damage. Do know that, as I said, they do absorb her or it eats her combos, meaning that you're going to have to start all over. The disadvantage of this is, of course, that you're going to lose that movement speed bonus that you get from having combo points. Um, and this is actually going to kind of lead into some of the things that we've been talking about with combos is that you don't want to be using your old if you need the mobility. So your old is, of course, the heavy damage. It's really it deals so much damage and it's really, really good. But you want to make sure that you use your old when it makes sense. First of all, you want to try and hit as many people as you possibly can while, of course, staying safe from CC. Because as you guys saw early in this game, Leona just instantly stunned my old. And it did nothing. So you want to make sure that they've used their CC or at least whoever whoever can CC you are not able to either because they've used their CC or they're out of range. You want to use it on as many people as possible without getting interrupted. Um, if somebody is trying to chase you down, then it might be better for you to just hold on to it. Do your normal damage, do your, do your, uh, your, your Qs, your Ws, your Es. Um, in order to keep the combo points to kite away from the target, or maybe even if you're chasing someone down, then even though you would do more damage with your ult, then if you know that you, your ult won't kill them fast enough, or maybe they're sitting on a flash, then not using your ult might be better because it's going to give you that mobility from the combo points to potentially catch up to that enemy. Um, so that's kind of that part of it. Um, this also kind of brings us to the next part about how do you actually get the most out of your, your uh, or how do you actually get the fastest uh, combo points up and running? Well, the thing is that both your Q, your W, and your E are what we call auto attack resets. This means that your attacks are instantly gonna, uh, like if you do an auto attack, then Q, then you'll instantly auto attack again after. Uh, so you always want to do an auto attack before an ability. Uh, this goes for all of uh, all of uh, Samira's abilities, uh, except her ult. But then again, you probably still want to do an auto attack, depending on the situation. But you always want to do an auto attack in between each ability to optimize your damage. This is ideal. And also, if you do an auto attack Q, auto attack W, auto attack E, then you will have enough combo points to use your ult by the end of it uh because the last out attack after the e will basically be the final uh for your sixth combo point and you will be able to use your ult and could just go completely ham uh but yeah that's kind of that thing let's just quickly go over the early mid and late game i feel like uh things went out a little faster than i would have liked but basically in the early mid and late game uh, the early game you want to play it usually as an ADC. You have this passive with the knockup stun. Play around that. Make sure that you let your support initiate initiate the fights as much as possible. Use your E to optimize damage for getting this attack speed and for repositioning. Make sure that if you're about to kill a target, then using your E uh, is a really good idea. Because first of all, it deals damage, and secondly, it resets your auto attack, and third, you're gonna get an instant uh e or you're gonna get your e reset to use it on the other target if there's another one uh straight after so make sure that you use your e before you kill a target if it's off cooldown um so that's kind of that part in the early game you just want to farm up you want to make sure that you play around your team 
uh, or play around your support and around your jungler use your passive to get this knock up to to bring people down and uh, yeah that's basically how you want to play the early game in the mid game it's very much the same story you might want to want to go and swap lanes etc you might go to the mid lane and the mid laner might go to the bot lane etc but you still want to be grouped up with your support as much as possible or at least group up with uh, uh with someone that has some cc but make sure that you get your cs again you are an adc your primary thing in the early and mid game is to get as much gold as humanly possible then once you get into the late game you are again still an adc you want to play the back line meaning they want to be safe you want to stay at a safe at a safe distance from the enemy um and once you can see that the enemy is kind of out of their cc then you can consider going hard in with an old like kind of a katarina style but again you want to be careful because you are still squishy uh one thing i forgot to mention about your inferno trigger and i, I don't know why i didn't mention this but it also uh, triggers life steal and uh critical strikes uh which is kind of important uh so it can give you some sustain when you're using this old but again it is kind of uh it is yeah it's kind of risky if you just go balls deep uh on for five man so you want to be very considerate you are an adc you deal a chunk of damage just play around that all right um so that's kind of that part i i feel like overall uh we've been pretty much around the whole champion hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, i know that as this champion has been out for longer longer uh, we're gonna probably see some more stuff with with her and some cooler combos uh there's a li i've left the link down below to mobile analytics for the current best build for her this changes so rapidly so by the time this video hits the live servers uh then yeah there's probably a better build out there and there might be so check that link out to see the current best build i'll leave uh the items in the description for what i use here um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to smash that like button. And if you're not already, then subscribe down below. But that is gonna be it for this one. As always, stay awesome, have fun, and take it easy, guys.